Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do some, uh, yeah, Twitch shakes. And these are the clips that we're going to use. And um, first of all, what you want to do is for the first clip, just add an adjustment layer. If you click Control, Alt, and Y on your keyboard, you can add an adjustment layer. Then just cut it where the clip ends, like so. And then simply search for Twitch. You can then um, add Twitch to this adjustment layer. From this point on, we're going to change the amount. Usually, I recommend to just leave it around 50. Um, for this, I'm just going to put it to 55. And for the speed, I like to have it between 15 and 30. And I think I'm just going to go with 25, like so. And then um, you want to go to Enable. And here you want to enable Slide. Now we've enabled slide and you can already see that right here looks really blurry and then what you can do is keyframe the amount so just click on there press u on your keyboard so you can see all the keyframes uh, of this adjustment layer go to the end of the clip put this back to zero and now we have uh yeah the shake but then you want to select both keyframes press f9 on your keyboard to easy ease it and you want to open up the graph editor you want to make sure it's on the uh, value graph. So right click and then here value graph. And I'm just going to simply grab it like super sharp or tight like this. And then you kind of have your shake. So that's how it kind of looks like on the first clip. Um, but usually the default settings, I find them a bit too ugly. So what you can do is open up the operator controls. And then go to slide and here we have a lot more customization so this is the slide amount right here is the slide direction you can change you can also do the spread since the direction is set to zero degrees is it's going to go just up and down like uh, a y shake but if you put the slide spread all the way up it's going to go um over like every single direction randomly you can also add rgb split which is used in like a lot of hype edits which look looks pretty cool like this and you can also reduce or add motion blur so now that you kind of have an idea what everything does um i usually put the motion blur to about 15 and then um the slide spread i know i just usually like to have a sort of like y shake um like this i think that looks pretty clean if you think the shake uh is like I know you don't notice it that much you can change the slide amount to maybe like 75 or something this will increase it a lot as you can see or you can go to the graph and change the graph like a little bit like this that will also yeah increase it a lot as you can see and that is basically the first shake and now i'm going to show the second shake which is kind of similar but um yeah, I'm just going to add another adjustment layer. This time, go about one, two, three, four, five, six frames backwards. Cut it. Make sure it's cut uh, till the end of the clip as well. And then we're, what we're going to do is add another twitch like this. So I'm just going to copy the settings kind of. Now this time, I'm going to put the slide amount on 75 again. The slide spread to like uh, 0.3. And I'm going to turn up the RGB split a little, uh, maybe like 40. Yeah, 40 looks pretty cool. And reduce the motion blur a little to about 15. And then we're going to keyframe the amount again. So go to where the clip starts, put a keyframe there, press U or your keyboard, go to the end of the clip. Once again, put it to zero and then go to where the adjustment layer begins. Put this on zero as well. And now you have kind of like a little build-up shake. Yeah, that can look pretty cool. So once again, select every keyframe, press F9, open up the graph editor. And this time, grab the first one, maybe something like this. And the second one, once again, like this. And then let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Um, but it's a little bit too much. So what you can do if it is too much, then you can kind of like 
put this keyframe maybe here a little bit and make it like uh yeah fix the graph again and then it's like a shorter shake so it's not like shaky throughout the whole edit you know so you've like two shakes um but yeah once again i don't know i just kind of like to have slide spread tur turned off i don't know just really like the way uh, it looks without it going like every direction so um yeah that is kind of the tutorial i hope this uh, tutorial helped you out please leave a like and let me know in the comments if it worked i'll see you next time have a good day